<laughs> hey everybody, Chris Lotus here. Hope you all are doing good. This is part three of my KOF 15 roster predictions and I'm still reeling from the reveal from yesterday. <laughs> that Joe Higashi reveal legit messed up one of my predictions, which we will get to momentarily. But as you can see on here at the moment, this is where we left off when Benny Maru was confirmed to be part of Team Hero with Meitan Kun and Shune. So now, drum roll please. Well, we got music in the background. Shout out to Electronic Warbear, by the way. That is Electronic Warbear, whose name is also Chris. <laughs> All right. This is where I am at the moment now. So I'm just gonna go from the left to the right because there have been some changes not limited to what you see over here. So, the women fighters team. Well, we'll get to that later. First off, I'm still standing by this. <laughs> I'm still standing by Sacred Treasure Trio team in KOF 15. I do not care until I am proven otherwise, possibly next week. I do not think Yori and Joe Higashi are on a team. I can't see it. <laughs> I really just think SNK is trying to swerve us because Keo is the obvious next character. I mean, all of these characters, these three, Iori, Joe, all got far as like full on gameplay reveals. They got theirs before Keo did. Keo, I know, is not the current hero of the current arc, but it's the man. Come on. <laughs> and maybe I'm a little, little salty about that because I like Keo a whole bunch. <coughs> Sorry about that. But I like Keo a lot. I like Keo more than most other fighting game protagonists, to be honest. But yeah, nevertheless, I'm sticking by this <laughs> till I've proven otherwise. Now, the women fighters team. I had my Vanessa and Blue Mary here, but as you can see, and we'll get to it later, I moved her here. Vanessa, I'm still on the fence about but more than likely, I'm going to put Vanessa on another team. But for the time being, she can be a women fighters team placeholder. And I'm sorry if I don't remember y'all's names because I do talk with y'all a chunk in the comments on most of these discussion videos. But somebody had alluded to the fact that with 15 being, I guess, a direct sequel, I suppose, they feel like all of the newcomers or most of them because we we confirmed unless there's a deal one of them love heart will not be back but they alluded to all the newcomers returning if that is the case that's what made me arrive at alice and i mean alice is not a bad character i like alice a whole bunch i feel like she could still have a lot to give and plus i mean she's a younger character like very fresh new you can still play up the whole terry fangirling and also, you could just play her up like a Sakura, like, you know, getting stronger, you know, growing her skills and all that. Maybe, possibly, having Alice adopt some of her own moves. Like, she might keep a little bit of the Terry Terry. Don't ask why I said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. But she could still keep some of, like, the Terry-esque moves. But you could kind of see her developing into more of her own character. Like, putting her own spin or more of her own spin on some of Terry's ones because she already kind of has her own spin on some of his techniques as it is. <laughs> but I'm still on the fence about the women fighters team because we really just didn't get any hints. Like the last two women fighters endings, 13 and 14, they were played for laughs. I mean, we got a lot of cameos, but that's about it. And like I mentioned, Vanessa was in both of those, but she's never been on this team. And in my mind, the women fighters team is like a compilation or like a super group <laughs> talking like it's an album. It's a super group of the greatest and promising young upcomers as far as women fighters in the KOF universe. And why would they not want to have the first female KOF champion? That's how I see it. 
but I think I might actually switch Vanessa down the line. Now to hear with Goro Daimon. While Goro has been a long standing, pretty much a staple character, <laughs> there's a part of me that feels like that he may not return. I don't know, but I'm playing this up as if he is. Let's see if he, <laughs> let's see if he is returning. The only person I could think that hasn't been at least assigned to a team far as my predictions are concerned, because I'm still riding on this, and this right here has already been confirmed. The only person I could think of that could go along with him that has something of a fan following despite his joke character-esque archetype, it's Shingo. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> This, I might trash this whole team from mine. Like, <laughs> no disrespect to the Goro Daimon mains out there. I'm sure there are plenty of them out there, but I just don't know. But being gracious, if he is leading his own team, Shingo is the only person I could think of. That's it. And now we're going to move over to here. With me still standing firmly on this, and I'm going to be reminding y'all a whole bunch throughout this video. And knowing how still popular Mature and Vice are, at first I had said that maybe they might be DLC, but eh, then I thought about it. They used, there's actually a couple of different people, honestly. But seeing that Goenitz, I never could say his name right, Gonitz. <laughs> Sorry. Seeing that he is back after um, Versus Demise or his disappearance, whatever you want to call it, along with this team here, he also has been confirmed basically to be alive again. If Iori is still over here with the Sacred Treasure Trios team, until I'm shown otherwise, and they don't want to make these two DLC, then they could put them with Gonitz. Some of y'all have been talking about Rugal, who honestly, I'm 50-50 on whether he'll return. Now, he's not on the board at the moment, but I will say this. If Rugal does make a return, part of me feels like he'll be a solo entry. Speaking of solo entries, he's also not pictured here. More so because like, I'm some 50-50 on these. It's kind of funny because we'll get to this down here. Jeff Bogard, I also think, is going to be a solo entry. Rugal and Jeff Bogard, solo entries. I'm not 100% behind it yet, but I'm leaning that way. But I can see this being a team there if they still insist on the Sacred Treasure Trio team. So Gonitz, Mature and Vice, why not? Team Psycho Soldier, I don't think they're going to split these two. I don't think they're gonna split them up, but I do not think the third character is gonna be Chen. I'm taking a little bit of a cue from what we learned with this team here. KOF may be the game where people like Tung Fu Ru and in this case Chen, they take a backseat and they let the young up and comers take the helm and take a crack at it. Some of y'all have mentioned Bao, who honestly, I can see that, but for the time being, I'm leaving this blank then. I might say Bao, I mean, there's not really much to work with there. Plus I've been playing 2002 UM <laughs> since they freaking brought it out last week. And I forgot how crazy Bao can be. The invitation team, minus Kukri. <laughs> Because Kukuri basically deserted this team, or at least that's how I see it. And of course, helped Elizabeth find Ash Crimson. Seeing that the three of them seemingly were on the on decent terms in their ending, I could possibly see the three of them teaming up. <laughs> It'd be kind of interesting seeing like Antonov and yet these two... But at the same time, I mean, Antonov was the one that basically scouted the talent. Additionally, Mion and Sylvie 
do not have that much of a kinship with much of anybody else. With the exception of Sylvie, I do recall reading something that hinted at her basically feeling something of a kinship with Kula, which that would be interesting as a team like Kula, Sylvie, and somebody else. Kula, Sylvie, Mion. If they're going to shake up this team, which honestly, now that I've thought about it, I may also change this as well. Just seeing how crazy stuff has gotten. It depends on what this next trailer, this the next trailer shows us. Because <laughs> if it turns out that it's Yori, Joe, and somebody else, I'll be convinced that this team, Team K, and even this team might split up. I actually have the alternative idea, and I'm kind of lifting this from one of you because one of you mentioned this in one of my first videos. I actually think it was Hilux. I think it was Hilux. Helix. Objection! He mentioned a team of Clark, Ralph, and Maxima, which I actually might acquiesce to because I have an idea for a team of Leona, Whip, and Hydern. And I based that team around the fact that those three when I looked at the poll, which you can find on Reddit, I'll make sure to link it in the description so y'all can look at it. But far as the KOF 14 popularity poll, the three of them placed above even the staple favorites like Ralph and Clark. So, and I'd be down for that because I love Whip. Hyder, not so much, but Leona, love Leona. So I could dig that team. And finally, far as team predictions, this right here. <sighs> Joe screwed this up because now I'm second guessing this. This is the team Fatal Fury that I had in mind. Terry, Blue Mary, Rock. And going back to that poll that I just mentioned, these three characters occupy the number one, two, and three slot on it. The three of them are Fatal Fury characters. They're uber popular. SNK has got to know. Now, alternatively, maybe... I'm trying to think. I'm so sorry, I can't remember your names though, but I'll put it on the screen as I always do. I know one of you had been convinced that maybe the team fatal fury that we know of terry joe and brother andy might not split up because of this but this curveball has uh, this joke <laughs> i can't take it man i'm sorry i'm laughing so much but that mess legit has me <sighs> flabbergasted but for the time being until i'm proven otherwise i'm gonna stick with this Now, what is the deal with this right here? <sighs> I am more than confident Geese will make a return despite the fact he's been spending the past couple of years mixing it up over there in Tekken 7. He's fun to play in Tekken 7, by the way. <laughs> and why not ride that momentum and bring some people over from Tekken 7 who might have never heard of Geese Howard? Because some people are purists and they do not know about King of Fighters, believe it or not. Imagine they're now brought over wanting to play Geese in his, well, I guess you'd call it his home game, even though Geese is originally a Fatal Fury character. But at the end of their, the South Town team's ending, they get ambushed by Mr. Big. And from what it's implied, Hein and Billy hold off Mr. Big and his crew. And I think Geese escapes. Correct me if I'm wrong. And also with Yamazaki, Yamazaki is another popular character, which I'm like, come on, y'all cannot make him DLC two games in a row. You just can't. And the only other person outside of the Hakeshu that I could link Yamazaki to is Billy. 
And I know he was on an outlaw team with Blue Mary, but I'm pretty sure she's done with that, especially dealing with these two. So, as a matter of fact, that's where also Gato comes in. And I remember one of you also really wanted Gato to come back, aside from me, because Gato's actually really cool. I really actually want to see a nice, a bigger chunk of Garu Mark of the Wolves character in this game than usual. But I honestly do not know what to do with these four. I'm pretty sure Geese has to be involved, but is it gonna be Geese, Billy, Yamazaki? Geese, Billy, Gato? But I'm drawing a blank on this. Y'all might have to help me with that. <laughs> and that basically does it for my predictions. Like I mentioned in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, I don't know where to put him at this point considering all the other predictions that I've made. I really have no clue. <laughs> oh, but that's all I got for y'all this time around. What do you all think? What would you switch around then? Give me a hint about uh, what I could do with this and correct me if I missed some details or if I got some details wrong. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for supporting my content. Thank you all for just engaging because just predicting, talking with y'all and like... <laughs> And just being hyped for freaking KOF 15, like, I really enjoyed the conversation. But that is that. This is Chris Lotus, and I will catch you all next time. I got a birthday to celebrate. Y'all take care.